Now we're talking about domestic audience in the United States. And the challenge is going to be partially that you know, ISIS did not have a domestic constituency in the United States Congress. But there is over half of the Republicans in Congress voted to overturn the election. Um, and there will be a continual political pressure on the, yeah. the companies to not take it seriously. So I think first, you mm. have to focus on those violent extremists and those companies have to be brave in that way. And second, we have to turn down the capability of these conservative influencers to reach these huge audiences. There are, are people on YouTube, for example, that have a larger, daytime, a larger audience than daytime CNN. And they are extremely radical and pushing extremely uh, radical views. And so it's up to the Facebooks and YouTubes in particular to think about whether or not they want to be effectively cable networks for disinformation. And then we're going to have to figure out the OANN and Newsmax problem. You know, that these companies have freedom of speech, but I'm not sure yes. we need Verizon, AT&T, Comcast and such to be bringing them into tens of millions of homes. Um, I, I, this is, you know, allowing people to seek out information if they really want to, but not pushing it into their faces, I think is where we're gonna to have to go here.